Okay, this video is for anyone that is going through hardships in life. You feel stress, you feel anxiety, you feel worried about your future. All you have to do is master two traits in your life. If you master these two traits, if you inculcate these two traits in your life, you'll be fine, inshallah. And the first one is sabr, patience. You need to learn how to have patience in life. This includes delayed gratification. This includes bearing the pain. This includes being resilient to hard things in life. You have to learn how to become patient. There's three parts to patience. The first one is having patience in refraining yourself from doing the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited you from doing. The second one is is being patient in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are human beings, we have weaknesses in our hearts. It takes patience, it takes some sort of internal spiritual strength inside of us to maintain that obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third one is having patience in accepting the qada of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, sometimes we don't like the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us because we want something else. This takes patience. For you to have patience, you need to be given that opportunity to have have patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test you to see or to help you build that trait of being patient. And the reason why you need to master patience is because the reward of having patience is that you can enter paradise without hisab, without reckoning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in chapter 39 verse 10, only those who endure patiently will be given their reward without limit. Without limits here, bighayri hisab means that you will enter paradise without reckoning. The second trait that you need to have is shukr, which is loosely translated to gratitude, you need to have gratitude in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you and from the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has protected you from. Because if you have shukr in your heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, la in shakartum la azidannakum. If you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. So either way, if you have sabr or shukr, either way, you will end up as the winner. If you have patience, you will enter paradise eventually. Hisab. If you have shukr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will still increase in what you're Already have. Either way, you will be a winner at the end of the day. At every second of your life, there will be times where you will find opportunities for you to be either one of them. Either you have shukr or either you have sabr. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes something away from you, that is an opportunity for you to have patience. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you something that you want, that is a blessing, that is an opportunity for you to have shukr. Every second of your life, you will have an opportunity to be patient or to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you adopt this mindset, or if you master these two traits, you will be a winner every single second of your life. Remind yourself from time to time, what can I be patient for today? And what should I be grateful for today? Keep on reminding yourself to either have sabr or have shukr and you will eventually be a winner, inshallah.